everyone, it's Dana here with Love Sola Flowers for our nighttime tutorial. Uh, if you are just joining us, we do uh, usually try to do tutorials on Thursday nights. It seems to be a night where people don't got a lot going on. So uh, Thursday nights is when we try to have a tutorial. Uh, between like 8.30 and 9.30 is usually our time. So um, if that helps you, let me see if I can get my comments going. Here we go. Um, so yeah, so if that helps you try to plan for tutorials, if you like to be on live so that you can ask questions live, but you can always ask questions on replays. So uh, if you ask a question on a replay, um, I do try to go back and answer each question at least by replying um, and typing it in. So um, we've been doing it every so often. I have something going on on Thursday, but this is when we try to walk in tutorials for you guys. Hi, Debbie. Oh, so glad you guys joined us. So our website is lovesolaflowers.com and um, all of the fillers I am using today with my boutonnieres because that's what we're going to work on. We're going to work on three different styles of boutonnieres um, are from Love Sola Flowers and there is a drop down box search thing on our website and you can just go fill our Hi Debra. You can just click fillers and our fillers that I'm using again tonight um, will be yeah, will be used tonight here. They're on our website. Uh, obviously the flowers as well. Um, and I'm going to show you again three different styles. Hey Stacy, Hi Shirley. And I'm kind of excited about doing these. I do actually love designing boutonnieres. I know it's kind of sometimes people's last like afterthought like oh it's just the guy's flower. It's not that big of a deal. But I really do love making the boutonnieres kind of special too. Hi Sherry. Especially these days when people's photographers are taking a lot of detail shots. They might take the boutonniere and lay it on the invitation or, you know, next to the tie. So um, it is important that our boutonnieres look just as nice as the rest of the accessories uh, in our wedding parties. Also, prom season is coming up. Hi, Lori. Um, so uh, with prom season, obviously, people need corsages and boutonnieres, and you want them to be matching, and you want them to be a little special. You want the guy to feel special. Hi, Angelica, especially with prom because, you know, moms like to save Stuff. So if you have a wood flower boutonniere, I'm sure mom puts it away in a box somewhere and keeps it for sure. So um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do three styles. We're going to do one with two flowers with more traditional. We're going to do one with one flower and then we're going to do a filler only like rustic boho one. Um, I have done a video on boutonnieres, but we have a lot of questions coming and sometimes when the videos are so far back, it's hard to find them. So we thought we would do um, a current one on boutonnieres. So what you need, um, I use two inch flowers. Some people don't like them this big with two inches. They might do one and a half inches. Um, but I do like a big boot. So <laughs> I like to use the two inches. It's not very big on most men. I think that's the other thing to think about too, is that, you know, us women tend to have not as broad shoulders. So it might look a certain size when we hold it up to ourselves. But you gotta think of, you know, a man's chest size and um, you know that that you know if you go too puny it looks puny so again you can use um, this again I'm using two inch size flowers um, but you can also use one and a half inches so this is a one and a half inch so for me these are too small unless you use a ton of filler um, but we even are gonna do our two flower boutonnieres even gonna use both of these so again I like a very prominent kind of boutonniere I don't like long stems on them, but I like it to be, you know, there. So um, we are going to make a couple. We're going to do um, with the pin-on kind. And then I also have magnets. I'm going to show you how to make them magnetic. Um, so you'll need magnets if you're going to do that. And when we get there, I'll tell you what kind. And then, of course, you need your 18-gauge wire. Okay? So we're going to start. Um, if you are not part of our community group, if you're new and you're not part of that, you should join it. It's facebook.com slash groups slash love soul of flowers. So that's a group where you get to post your own things or ask questions, get people's advice, you know, get constructive criticism, ask for where people buy things, that kind of stuff. So that group is all for posting and doing all that. But we do our videos here on the business page because it's much easier to find them. So when a video goes in a group, it doesn't keep it like organized in a tab. It just floats around in a post. So if you're looking for our video tutorials, they are here on our business uh, page and it's under the tab called videos. Now, Facebook has this weird glitch 
when you're using your phone, you can't see the title of the tutorials anymore. It just says untitled. So um, we just want to make sure you realize that on the phone it says untitled, but I believe on a computer you can still search by the name of the video and there's even apparently a search button. So um, they're labeled, but you just can't see them in the row of videos, um, but they're there. There's just like a Facebook thing just came up, so let's see. Hmm. Okay, so I don't know, This a comment just came up on my Facebook that says maybe you're not going to be able to see the same thing as I do, and I don't really know what that means. It says Facebook is having technical problems. So if you guys see this video weird, let me know, because it just popped up on my screen that Facebook is having technical problems. So if this video is like looking weird to you, just let me know and give me a heads up on that. So, okay, I'm going to start. So we're going to do a basic two flower traditional boutonniere. Now I usually do two flowers for the groom and then I'll do one flower for the groomsman. And I usually give him a little extra filler. Again, we want him to stand out. It is working. It's so weird. As a comment, it came up as a comment on the video that there's like technical issues. So weird. I've never seen that happen like ever like Facebook commented on my video that you might be not seeing the right thing but anyway if something happens let me know so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these little stubby stems in my flowers okay again this was a two inch this is a bird rose and I'm gonna do my one and a half inch new beauty this guy's already died okay I'm glad I mean it looks good to me but I don't know why that just popped up it's very weird so let me just stem these guys so I have them on little nubs okay and I have my tape again I use vinyl tape thanks Trina um, I'm gonna set some pieces of tape on my side here because once I squeeze things together it's not easy to rip off the tape for it so um, I have a couple pieces of tape for myself so I have my two flowers um, again two inch and one and a half inch and then I'm gonna have some fillers here so for this one, I'm gonna use some Silver Dollar Eucalyptus. Let's see that. I wanna use a Spiral Eucalyptus. And I'm just gonna shred these little baby ones at the bottom because we're gonna need a little bit of a handle in order to tape it. I'm gonna use some Dark Green Caspia. And then I'm gonna use some dried baby's breath. Again, this is a more of a little traditional look. So I've got dried baby's breath. Okay, so what I start with is my flowers because when I have two flowers, I wanna make sure that I set them up so that when I add my greenery, they're all ready to go. So I'm gonna take my little guy and I'm gonna put him on the side. Now, for some reason, I always build my little guy to my left but it doesn't really matter which side you put them on. Okay, and I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna tape it, I'm gonna show you. So I squeeze them together, and I've got my little guy on my left, and I'm gonna hold it up to you once I tape it. I'm gonna take my tape, and I'm gonna go down my wire and just twist it. Woohoo! Awesome, Shay, congratulations. Okay, so again, remember this is reverse to you. So I have my little baby down lower, and off to the side. Okay, so I have my bigger flower up top and I have my baby down below and to the side and I've now taped my wires together. I'm gonna cut myself off a couple more pieces of tape here because I'm gonna add my greenery to them. So it's, boutonnieres are sometimes they move a lot. So if you tape a lot, you usually have better luck with it sticking the way you want it. So I'm going to slide, do you see? My greenery behind my flowers, okay? So this is Silver Dollar Eucalyptus. Do you see how I just slid that behind my flowers? And actually I'll tape it so that I can hold it better too. So now I'm gonna tape my Silver Dollar Eucalyptus. Again, I start at the top and I'm just gonna spin, spin, spin my tape down to the bottom, okay? So as you can see, I've got my leaves behind can you see it? And then like that. Okay. So 
So once I got my main leaves, which are like the bigger leaves on it, then I start adding my little fillers. So I'm gonna add my spiral eucalyptus. So I put it off to the side. You never want things like coming straight up out of it. It looks very like things going off to the side, usually just to the eye is more pleasing. And I'm gonna just kinda arrange my fillers. Okay, I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna hold it up your direction too. So sometimes with these two flower ones, because then you can hide the little like, you know, the, the bottoms of it, I put the greenery in front too. So this is what it looks like now that I've added some caspia. And I'll hold it up again once I tape it so you can take a good look at where I put it. So I've added my one piece of spiral eucalyptus, again, off to the side, do you see? I put one of my caspias in the back and then I put one in the front so it kind of covers that weird spot so you don't see wires because you don't want to see wires. So I'm going to add now, I have my tape ready already, I'm going to add some baby's breath, just some white. Again, baby's breath is a nice traditional, so if you're doing a traditional wedding, grab yourself some baby's breath. I do love the dried baby's breath for boutonnieres more than the preserved because um, it's all the blooms are like up at the top so you're not wasting them and having to like pull them off down below so I'm gonna put some baby's breath in the front and the back I'm gonna tape it and I'll hold it nice and close now you can get pins for boutonnieres on Amazon they're super cheap I get like hundreds of them for like a couple dollars and you can do the ones that have just the pearl on the top um, they have like different styles Okay, so then as you can see, I put a little baby's breath in the back and a little baby's breath in the front and I've taped it down. Now, I don't like a very, very long stem. Is your silver dog? Yes, Sherry, it's from, it's, it's from the website. I'm not sure if it's in stock right now, but it is from Love Sola. We have to go with seasons with greenery and preserved and everything like that. We have to obviously go by the season of the greenery. Um, but it is the preserved, it is from Love Sola. So I'm gonna take my clippers and I'm actually gonna cut right through my tape and that kind of like seals the bottom of it as well. It's blue. Okay, so it gets a nice seal. As you can see, now some people don't even mind the tape, showing the tape, but um, I am gonna put a cover over it and I'm gonna use some navy blue ribbon My clippers work. I did have my scissor here, but I don't see it. <laughs> Let me see if my clippers will work. Let's see. It did. Ooh, that worked. Okay, yeah. So there is the. Oh, we have the hybrid. Okay, so the hybrid. Let me explain what the hybrid means, because I know sometimes we have questions about that. So the hybrid has is like a mixture of um, the sil like the more rounder silver dollar eucalyptus and then the eucalyptus leaves that are a little bit more oval shaped. So it's kind of a mixture. It looks really, really pretty. I have it and um, it looks great. Um, this might even be it actually. So it's correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this might be it because see how they're oval. So this actually might be the hybrid I'm using because they are a little more oval. So, all right. So to wrap my stems, I always start at the top. You're definitely gonna wanna start on the back and I'm gonna put a dot of hot glue and I'm gonna lay my ribbon right in the hot glue and go wait for it to dry before I can pull it. And then I'm just gonna wrap the stem nice and tight all the way down to the bottom. I actually think I'm using the hybrid, if I'm honest with myself here, because these are a little bit oval shaped.